Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello and welcome, my dear students, to our lesson of today, which is going to be about 2E Broaden Your Mind from the book Traveler 2. This lesson is for the first secondary stage from the second semester, prepared by Amna Madkhali and presented by Yasser in Nakhli. Today, inshallah, in our lesson, we will discuss the duration of an action and we will practice present perfect symbol with for, since, yet, already now look at this picture would you like to live abroad why why not would you like to live abroad abroad mean to live outside of your country okay very good now grammar let's start with the present perfect symbol with four since yet already. A. Read the dialogue. When did Fred move to the city? Then answer this question. When did Fred move to the city? A. How long have you had this house, Fred? B. I have had it for two years since I moved to this city, actually. So, when did Fred move? To the city he moved okay very good now four plus period of time for example two years a week six months an hour five minutes what about since since a point in time Sunday yesterday two o'clock last May last week okay this is the difference between for and since we use for plus period of time for two years for a week for six months for an hour and we use since plus a point of time or in time since Sunday since yesterday okay now read the following dialogue and complete the rules with the words in the box a Andy is a reporter from London and he travels abroad all the time he has already been to the USA and China but he hasn't been to France yet B really where is he now a he has gone to New York he is coming back next Tuesday now look at these words in this box been gone already yet okay now complete the rules with the words in the box you have here four rules complete it with the words inside this box okay let's check your answers use already in affirmative sentences and put it between have or has and the past participle has already gone for example Second, use yet in questions and negative sentences and put it at the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence. Third, use have or has gone to a place when someone is still at that place. Use have or has been to a place when someone has returned from that place. For example, he has gone to London. That means he is still at London until now. But when you use been, he has been in London. Okay, so that means 
he went to London and came back from it. Very good. Now, let's go to practice. Complete the dialogues with the present perfect symbol of the verbs below and circle the correct words. Look at this box here. B. Not return. Not check. Tell. Call. Go. Not see. Use these uh, words. Complete the dialogue, please. Okay, let's check your answers. He hasn't returned already or yet. Yet. Very good. Second, he has gone to the library. I have told him. I have already called him. I have already called him three times, but there is no answer. Two, haven't seen for or since since last year. I haven't checked my emails for or since for a month. Have you ever been there? Very good. Now let's go to listening. Discuss. Have you ever lived abroad? Would you like to live abroad? Why? Why not? Now let's go to listening. Listen to three people talking about living in a foreign country. Match the people uh, with the statements from A to D. There is one extra statement which you do not need to use. A has improved his Spanish a lot recently. B took a course but I, it didn't help. C wants to improve his Spanish to make his job easier. D is living in Spain to learn the language. Okay. Now listen carefully please. Then try to match the people with the statement. Ryan Jake and Phil. 2E. Broaden your mind. 3. Listening. B. Listen to three people talking about living in a foreign country. Match the people with the statements A to D. There is one extra statement which you do not need to use. Brian. My brother and I have been here for a month now. But the only things I can say in Spanish are everyday expressions like thank you and good morning. Sometimes I feel stupid. People talk to me and I just look at them. Luckily, my brother speaks Spanish very well and he helps. But I can't go anywhere without him. I haven't managed to learn much, so I've decided to take a course. I want to speak Spanish well when I leave and go back home. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? Jake. I've been here since last September. The first few months were very hard for me. I found it difficult to understand the professors, and I didn't speak to my classmates because I was afraid of making mistakes. My flatmate Thomas had the same problem, and we decided to take a course to improve our Spanish. It was a great idea because I've already improved so much that I can read newspapers and books, and I almost never have problems at the university. Phil. It's an amazing experience. I've been abroad before, but only on holiday. I like the people a lot, and I enjoy working as a teacher, but I sometimes have problems with the language. I'm okay when I go out, because I can always find someone who speaks English, but I sometimes have problems at work. Not with my colleagues, they speak English. But when students don't understand something, I can't explain it in their own language. I wanted to take a language course back home, but I didn't, and now I don't have time. Okay, yet check your answers. Okay, Ryan with D. 
Ryan is living in Spain to learn the language. Jake, A has improved his Spanish a lot recently. And Phil, C wants to improve his Spanish to make his job easier. Very good. Speaking now, discuss. Do you like learning foreign languages? Is learning English easy for you? Nice. Now, B. Talking Bears, which of the following do you think help when learning English? Why? Which of these do you do? Take a summer course in an English-speaking country. Visit an English-speaking country for some time. Read books, magazines, newspapers in English. Surf the net. Communicate with people who speak English. Okay. Now let's go to writing. Do you like writing emails? To family members or friends? What do you usually write to them about? Okay, now read the email below. Why is Fred writing to Abdurrahman? Try to find why is Fred writing to Abdurrahman? 5. Writing Hello, Abdul Rahman. How are things? Sorry I haven't written for so long, but I've been very busy with university. However, guess what? I have some great news. I am coming to Tawal for my master's. The King Abdullah University of Science and Technology accepted me. I am looking forward to it, but I haven't organized things yet, and I'm a bit stressed. Luckily, some friends in Saudi Arabia are helping me arrange my accommodation. Anyway, I don't know exactly when I'm coming, but I'm looking forward to seeing you again after all these years. So, what about you? What have you been up to? Do you still study hard like you used to? Well, that's all for now. Write back soon. Yours, Fred. So you now read again and answer the question in which paragraph 1 for does Fred? A. Ask for Abdurrahman's news. B. Use such phrases to end his email. C. Give his news. D. Say why he is writing. In which paragraph you will find these four sentences? Let's start with A, paragraph number 3, B, paragraph number 4, C, paragraph number 2, and finally, paragraph number 1. D, look at the table below with the phrases Fred has used in his email and complete it with the phrases given. Now, greeting. Hello, Abdurrahman. Set phrases for opening paragraph. How are things? Sorry, I haven't written for so long. Set phrases for closing paragraph. Well, that's all for now. Write back soon. Signature ending. Yours. Now, try to use these sentences and put it here in this table. Let's start with the greetings. We will start with Dear Jimmy. Okay, let's go to set phrases for opening paragraph. Thanks for your email and I am writing to tell you about and hi, how have you been? Okay, set phrases for closing paragraph. I am looking forward to hearing from you. I must go now. Say hi to everyone. Signature. Take care. Bye for now. 
writing writing task imagine a friend has sent you a similar email write an email to reply to him say how happy you are that he or she is coming to your city to study and give him or her your news your email should be between 80 to 100 words do not forget and remember when you're writing an email giving news start with hi hello dear and his first name use set phrases to begin and end your email sign off with a set phrases and your first name under this organize it into paragraphs as shown above use expressions for example well of course anyway you know use standard grammar and spelling conventions do not use forms such as wanna see you later and etc use short forms am um, don't use exclamations guess what and direct questions what have you been up to okay evaluation now circle the correct words one I haven't played tennis for since six years two Fahad has never been gone to an English speaking country three I have yet always thought the title of this poem was fly okay let's check answers number one I haven't played tennis for since six years for six years number two Fahad has never been gone been to an English speaking country three I have yet always thought always thought the title of this poem was fly B rewrite the sentences using the words in the brackets I haven't taste snails never Two, Bowl traveled to Las Vegas this week and to San Francisco last week so far. Three, Hannah returned from the supermarket two, mi two minutes ago. Four, 1996 was the last time Mr. Brown saw his son. Since, take your time, try to find the answer of these four sentences. okay let's check your answers now number one I have never tasted snails number two bowl has traveled to Las Vegas and to San Francisco so far Hannah has just returned from the supermarket mr. Brown hasn't seen his son since 1996 Today we learned how to discuss the duration of an action using for and since. We use for and plus period of time and since a point in time. We practiced present perfect symbol with for, since, yet and already. These are the references to refer to a student's book, workbook, teacher's guide and Google Clip Arts. For more information and listen, please do not hesitate to call us to our website, our Twitter account, or our phone number. Thank you and hope to see you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.